We presented a study on, on a preston, which is the uh, antagonist to the progesterone receptor, which is frequently expressed in both breast, ovarian, and, and endometrial cancer. So briefly, we devised a phase one study, which is an original design, randomizing patients per in a, a regular uh, immediate release form, which is the ancient form of naprostone, 100 mg per day, one take, versus five dose levels uh, with the uh, extended release form that has been recently developed with the aim uh, of limiting the toxicity. And the five dose levels were 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 mg CBYD. Uh, so we deliver the, the therapy to 52 patients that were randomized to the study. And we have three main sets of results. First, the safety profile, which is very uh, easy to cope with uh, with the extended release form when compared to the immediate release, where we observed some uh, liver function test toxicity, which was already known and confirmed in this study. But indeed, when we moved to the extended, re to the, uh, extended release form, this toxicity almost vanished, and making the compound very uh, easy to cope with for the patients. Result number two, dealing with the PK data, so we had a, an extensive pharmacological program, pharmacokinetics program uh, embedded into the study, and which showed that first for the ancient uh, immediate release form, there was a high discrepancy between the patients and a high scattering of the data from one patient to another. And when we again, when, when you go to the uh, extended release form, the PK data are much more uh, uh, consistent and there is virtually no difference uh, bit, uh, of the AUC according to the dose levels, meaning that we could choose the dose level that we wanted to. And third, the, the efficacy of the first efficacy result, which are very interesting and appealing to, showing that in this population, of which was a phase one population, including, again, breast, ovarian, and endometrial cancer patients who had been previously very heavily pretreated, uh, we had a very, uh, uh, well, exciting signal of activity in breast, ovarian, and endometrial cancer patients as well, with responses and at least stable uh, disease, uh, disease stabilization for more than 30 to 40, and even in some instances 50 weeks, uh, which is very interesting in this population. Again, with virtually no toxicity at all.